Hello friends, so today we will learn about Streptococcal pharyngitis. The Streptococcal pharyngitis is caused by Streptococcus pyogenes. It is the most common cause of bacterial pharyngitis in children. It is also seen in 5 to 15 percent of adults. In clinical manifestations, the symptoms include erythema which means redness, swelling and purulent exudate. The most commonly affected region is the pharynx in which the tonsils are the most affected. So the tonsils will become red, swollen and purulent exudate is seen. Purulent means pus filled exudate. So in children less than 3 years, there are uh, the symptoms are little different. The symptoms include fever, malaise and lymphadenopathy which means enlargement of lymph nodes. The complications are two, superative complications and non-superative complications. So the superative complications include deeper tissue spread, vertical spread and hematogenous spread. Deeper tissue spread means that the infection will spread into the deeper tissues and it will lead to peritonsillar abscess or retropharyngeal abscess. The peritonsillar abscess is also called as quincy. The vertical spread uh, means it will spread, uh, it will spread downwards towards the lungs, causing pneumonia and empyema. Hematogenous spread uh, means spread through the blood, which can cause meningitis and bacteremia. Bacteremia refers to presence of bacteria in the blood. The non-superative complications include ARF which means acute rheumatic fever. Uh, so this bacteria after some time it affects the cardiac valves and joints. Uh, it is not common, it is seen in only less than 3% of the people. So this is known as acute rheumatic fever. Another complication includes post-streptococcal glomerular Post streptococcal glomerular nephro uh, nephropathy, which, uh, which causes renal glomerulonephritis, in which there will be excretion of proteins from the kidney. The proteins in the urine will increase. The differential diagnosis includes viral pharyngitis and diphtheria. We can differentiate the streptococcal pharyngitis from viral pharyngitis, as in viral pharyngitis, there will be rhinorrhea, that is, a runny nose cough and oral ulcers. We can differentiate streptococcal pharyngitis from uh, diphtheria because in diphtheria there is a formation of a membrane over the tonsil which is generally a pseudo membrane which we will further see in diphtheria. Scarlet fever. So the scarlet fever it is caused due to the exotoxins which are streptococcal pyogene exotoxins A, B and C. It leads to pharyngitis, rashes which have a sandpaper feel and strawberry tongue in which the tongue will become red and uh, the papilla will be enlarged. So if these features are seen in, uh, in a patient, it means the patient is suffering from scarlet fever. And uh, also rashes in between the skin folds will be seen which are known as pastias lines. Lab diagnosis, it is the most important part in microbiology. The lab diagnosis, specimen, so first we will see the specimen collection. So collection of specimen is by oropharyngeal or throat swab. In direct culture smear, these bacteria will be seen as gram-positive spherical cocci which will have a 0 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter. They will be seen in short chain. So this is the appearance. It is gram positive spherical cocci which will be seen in chains. In culture media such as in blood agar, pinpoint colonies of this bacteria will be seen measuring about 0 0.5 to 1 millimeter in diameter with a wide beta hemolytic zone. Identification. So the identification may be molecular or biochemical. The molecular identification is common for most of the organisms which is Vitek and Malditoff. Biochemical identification includes a catalase test and bacitracin. So it is uh, it shows negative catalase test and it is susceptible to bacitracin. RADT which is rapid antigen detection test. Uh, in this group A carbohydrate antigen is detected by latex agglutination or enzyme immunoassay. 
the test the specificity is uh, of this test is greater than 95 percentage but sensitivity is between 50 to 90 percent so uh, there will be more false negatives as sensitivity indicates false negatives and specificity indicates false positives Another another test is ASO titer in which uh, the ASO anti streptolysin O antibodies will be seen in the patient serum. Uh, they'll appear late, so it is generally used for retrospective diagnosis. Retrospective diagnosis means if the disease has occurred previously or not. Another test is molecular test which includes PCR assay. The turnaround time for this is 15 minutes and it is more sensitive therefore it is more preferred over the culture tests and uh, a rapid antigen detection test. Treatment, finally the treatment, uh, treatment includes pharyngitis treatment, recurrent pharyngitis treatment and pneumonia and empyema treatment. So if there is a pharyngitis, benzathine penicillin G is given intramuscularly single dose or oral penicillin V is given for 10 days. If there is recurrent pharyngitis, clindamycin and amoxicillin clavulinate is given. If there is pneumonia and empyema due to vertical spread, penicillin G is given and there will be drainage of empyema. Thank you.